Hi everyone, Jeanette Byro here, helping you make sense of life within the world of spirit so that you can connect better to your purpose and your higher self. So today I want to talk about reincarnation. Now I know for some people that might be a little bit triggering because to think that we have lived beyond this incarnation is just so vast. And if that's the case, that's okay. Just listen for the sake of listening. Um, because no matter what I say or share, the most important thing is that you take the information and you see if it resonates for you in your truth. That is the ultimate thing. So it doesn't matter my opinion or anybody else's opinion, your opinion is what matters if it aligns with you. So that being said, reincarnation is the idea that we come back many times over, uh, many different lifetimes to experience many different things. Now, I've had the experience in my own journey to understand this quite profoundly of different lifetimes. I have memories of different lifetimes, doing different things, being different things. Um, and I have to say, when I first started to come across that, it really quite blew my mind, really. But as I've come to understand it, it's really about how the whole soul journeys and experiences um, throughout the entire soul lifetime, I guess we could even say. So as a soul, we have many different incarnations to experience everything possible from the point of creation. It's all about gaining wisdom and understanding and ascending in consciousness. And one of the best ways to do that is to come in and have a human life. Human life on earth is so uh, intricately woven and it is so polarized and emotions, the human emotions that we have add so much richness to the experience of being a human that we tend to come back many times over to gain a lot within one lifetime. And so in reincarnation, when a soul crosses over, after we die, we cross over and you know, we kind of go through everything we've done in our life, this past life that we had, the one we just ended. We'll go through everything and recognize what we learned, what, you know, we did really well, what we've kind of accomplished and done, what we maybe should do again or learn again. And we'll take those ideas into the planning of the next life. Now, a lot of people will ask, you know, does the soul come back right away usually? And most often it doesn't. However, there are times where it can, but on average, the soul will usually cross over to the other side and stay there for a while, like a long while. Um, because for soul to come back too soon into a lifetime, it takes them some time to really maneuver and let go of the attachments to this life. So if they come back too fast, sometimes they come back with those memories of a past life that kind of bleed through into their consciousness now. And that's pretty challenging for a soul. So. We are in this, this perpetual cycle of growth and experience coming into different human lives for a reason. So that's my understanding of reincarnation and I hope it helps explain this a little bit to you. There's nothing to be afraid of in reincarnation. Um, it's just the vast, vast expansive journey of the soul, learning and growing. And so one of the things that you can do right now in this lifetime is make the most of this lifetime learn everything you can, experience everything you can, be willing to experience the highs and the lows instead of avoiding or pushing them away or masking them. Gain as much abundance into this basket of your life right now so that when you cross over as a soul, you have grown leaps and bounds, which will then really change how you decide to then come back and what you experience. So I hope that helps make sense of life a little bit. Uh, for everything else, join me at the Jeanette Byro podcast and also avalonspirit.com.